Hey everyone, I'm Gunix here. So as you can all see, I am using a face cam. Now, if you've been watching my videos since I was doing commentary videos, you know, I used to always use a face cam, but it was in very bad quality. It was in 480p, which is why for my birthday last month, I got this new one. And so yeah, this is my first time using it in the video. So uh, yeah. So basically in this video guys, I'll be going over everything you need to know so far about Halo 6. So um, uh, let's get into this first thing. Alright, so the first thing that you should all know about Halo 6 is that it's going to be having split screen. So Halo has always had split screen, right? But in Halo 5, there was no split screen and that made a lot of Halo fans like me angry. Because you know, back when I was younger, I used to always like playing split screen co-op with my brother on Halo 3 a lot which really really was fun but you know the fact that they had removed split screen from Halo 5 you know it really did suck you know which is why I'm glad that they're bringing it back in Halo 6 so uh yeah Alright, so the second thing that you should all know about Halo 6 is that Free for Free Industries is putting a lot of work into this. So, I came across this article that was talking about how Free for Free Industries said that they're putting a lot of work into Halo 6 and they're doing serious planning. So, obviously, they want to try and make Halo 6 the best Halo ever. So, let me just read this thing from a part of the article. We do kind of know what's going to happen in the next game pretty well at this point, O'Connor told Games Radar. We are doing serious real planning and even some writing on the next game already, and that's a luxury. We've never been in that position before. So as you can see guys, uh, Free for Free Industries are really trying, you know, they're doing some serious planning with Halo 6, and yeah... You know, they're really trying, and I think they're trying to make this a really good Halo game. Alright, so this third thing that you should all know about Halo 6 is that it's all going to just be based around Master Chief. So one thing that I and many other Halo fans didn't like about Halo 5 is that most of the missions you had to play as Agent Locke. Out of the 15 missions that there were, you had to play as Agent Locke on 12 missions, and you only got to play as Master Chief on 3 missions. You know, they could have evened it out, you know. It's like Halo 2 when you got to play as Master Chief and the Arbiter, and I was pretty evened out, you know. I think Master Chief got a few more missions than Arbiter, but, you know, that's okay, because fans would prefer Master Chief anyways, like me, you know, because Master Chief... He's an absolute badass, you know, and I think it's good that Free for Free Industries are going to make Halo 6 just based around uh, Master Chief, you know, and I'm just really happy that Halo 6 is just going to be centered around Master Chief. So let's get on to the next thing. So this next thing that you all need to know about Halo 6 is that Halo will be going back to its original roots. So in case you don't know what I mean, you know, most of you would know what I mean, but for those who don't know what I mean by going back to its original roots, what I basically mean is that it will be going back to, like, the Bungie era of Halo games, you know, like the first trilogy, you know, Halo 1, 2, and 3. So I think it's good that Free for Free Industries are going to be taking Halo back to its original roots, because, you know, uh, this can bring back a lot of the Halo community, you know, because Halo 5, in all honesty, that drive array a lot of classic Halo players, you know, in my opinion, Halo 5 is just filled with a bunch of exploiters, Call of Duty campers, you know, I mean, it's not really good, and Halo 5 is too competitive, you know, and if Free for Free does bring Halo 6 back to its original roots, which of course they will because they did say that, you know, it will be amazing, and a lot of original Halo fans will come back, you know, because I think it's going to be amazing that Free for Free Industries are going to be bringing back Halo back to its original roots. Sorry, guys, that I'm messing up my words, you know, it's just, uh, I got so much to say, you know. And also, I do hope that they remove all those new features that they bring into Halo 5, like uh, evading and Spartan... What, what's it called again? Ground pounding, yeah, that's what it's called. Ground pounding, Spartan charging. I hope they remove all those features, you know. Sprinting, I guess they can leave that in there. 
But yeah, I just hope that they remove evading, spartan charging, and ground pounding because I did not like that at all. You know, those features, it just gave people way too many ways to kill each other and it just made Halo 5 way too competitive, you know. And because I guess Free for Free Industries are bringing Halo 6 back to its original roots, well, obviously, I guess these features are going to be removed. Alright, so this next thing that you all need to know about Halo 6 is that the main boss will be Cortana. So, as you all know, at the end of Halo 5, uh, I don't want to give away spoilers for those who haven't played Halo 5, but I mean, if you're watching this video, you obviously have. So, yeah. So, at the end of Halo 5, as all of you know that are watching this video, uh, Cortana turns evil, and it's basically... Uh, confirmed that she is going to be the big boss in Halo 6, you know, it'll be cool if at the end of the game, you know, you're Master Chief and you actually get to get into a boss fight with Cortana, which obviously will happen, because I think there will be a boss fight between Cortana and Master Chief, and yeah, that will just be amazing, you know, Cortana versus Master Chief, you know, they used to be good friends and companions, but then they just fight in Halo 6, you know, like, that would actually be pretty cool, you know. Even though a lot of people don't like the fact that Cortana is evil, I actually do kind of like that. But, uh, yeah. So, now let's get on to my next thing. Alright, so this next and last thing that you all need to know about Halo 6 is that this could potentially be the end of the main Halo series. So, it was basically confirmed, I guess you could say, about a year or two ago, that Halo 6 could be the end of Master Chief's story, and Master Chief could possibly die at the end of Halo 6. So, yeah, that's going to be really sad. But, you know, even if Halo 6 does end, you know, there is a high percentage that Halo 6 will be the final Halo game, I do think that there will be a lot of Halo spin-off games, because, I mean, think about it. You know, the Halo universe is massive, you know, all the lore in Halo, it's just so massive, and there's so much that you can do with it, you know. I mean, why not turn one of the Halo books into a game, you know, I'd really like that. So maybe if Halo 6 could be the final Halo in the main series of Halo games, you know, we could see a whole bunch of different, like, spin-off Halo games, you know, because Bungie, right, when they were in charge of Halo, um, they originally wanted Halo 3 to end it all, you know, that's why the next couple of Halo games were spin-off games, Halo 3 ODST and Halo Reach, so maybe if Halo 6 is the end of Halo, then Free for Free Industries, you know, they could do, like, the same thing, you know, just release a bunch of spin-off games after that, you know, which I think would be really cool. So, yeah, it's going to be sad if Halo 6 does end with Master Chief dying. You never know. You might be in a boss fight with Cortana or something, and she might end up killing Master Chief or something, or maybe he'll die in a heroic way. You know, and if Master Chief does die in Halo 6, I hope it's in a very emotional and heroic way. So, uh, yeah. Alright guys, that is the end of this video, you know. I just want to get it out there, you know, all the things that you need to know about Halo 6 so far. So just to revise, you know, Halo 6 will be going back to its original roots, you know. Halo 6 will have split screen, it'll all be centred around Master Chief, you know. Free for Free Industries are putting a lot of work into it, and Halo 6 could potentially be the end of the main Halo series. Alright guys, so uh, if you enjoyed this video, um, don't forget to melee that like button, and also if you did enjoy the video a lot, uh, don't forget to subscribe, and yeah, uh, also don't forget to turn on notifications as well, so then you get notified whenever I upload a new video, and yeah, I guess I'll see you all in my next video, bye bye.